remember Paris in '49. The Champs-Élysées, Saint-Michel or Beaujolais wine. And I recall that you were mine in those Parisian days. Summer days spent outside corner caps. Ooh, I could write you paragraphs about my old Parisian days. Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So this week we're doing Parisian Walkways by Gary Moore. Obviously this is the acoustic version. I've tabbed it up for you guys. You can find the tab in the link below, okay? So if you wanna follow that. Also there's links to Spotify, Instagram, and uh, Facebook. So if you wanna send me a message on Facebook for a request or something like that, by all means, please do. I'll do my very best to reply to you guys. Let's zoom in and get straight into it. Section one, the guitar obviously in standard tuning and we're doing our octaves here and first finger on the seventh fret on the D string, pinky on the 10th fret and we're gonna pluck together and just slide down, okay? Then you go over to the A string and it's the seventh and ninth and over to the bottom E string and it's the eighth and 10th. Okay, so there's a little intro there. So part two, we've got 15 bent to 17 on the B string. Now, if you find you can't bend these strings, I use all three fingers just for power. You don't have to. All right, if you still can't do it, you can just bet, uh, slide 15 to 17. Now I'm not going to give you the timing, but what I will do, I'll upload the backing track that I was using originally, that I put together originally. So you can have a go at playing along with that. So 15 bend to 17, back to 15, 13, down to 12, 14 to 12 on the G, 15 on the D. I do a little scrape. So I'm palm muting here to get that scrape to the 12th fret on the top E. And then 13 on the B bend to 15. All together. Part three, we've got 13 bend to 15 on the B string. Back to 13. Um, 12, 10 slide to 12, 
down to eight so on the B string, then over to the G. Then we've got this first finger, third finger, and it's going um, seven, seven to nine, and back to seven. If I just put that whole section together, so. And we've got another little scrape here. Again, I'm palm muting. So that's 10 on the top E. Then slide 11 to 13 on the B. Into part four. 13 on the B. 12. Eight slide to 10. Back to eight. Then on the G string, it's nine slide to 10. Seven. Eight on the top E, then 10 on the B, that's bend to 12. Okay, let's just do that part four. Part five, we've got 10, slide to 12, back to 10, nine, 10 on the G string, then a seven to nine slide, back to five on the D, and then you, you do exactly the same as the intro, or you can just use the one finger. So part seven, we've got 14, 15, 12, 13, bend to 15, that happens twice, then 13, 13, part eight, 12, 13, 10 on the top E, same thing again, 12, bent to 13, happens twice, 12, 12. Then we're on to part nine, so we're going 10, 12 on the B, eight on the top E, and that's a 10 slide to 12 twice, and then 10, 10. So part 10 is probably the trickiest part. It starts with a little scrape, nine to 10, and then seven on the top E. So the nine, 10 on the B. Seven on the top E. Then we've got this. Okay, now. We're not gonna do that super fast, we're gonna do it super slow. Then on the top E string, eight bend to 10. Now that's quite a difficult bend, so you can go, you can do eight slide to 10, eight seven, and that's a seven, hammer on to eight, pull off back to seven, pull off back to five. Then eight, Back to five, then eight, pull off to five on the B. Then we're going over to seven, we're doing a little bend, a little curl on the G, and then five on the B, five on the top E. So, so far, sorry. So go back to this bend seven on the G, five on the B, five on the top E, eight on the B, pull off to five. So let's just get to there, right? So. Then we go Eight on the G, seven, six, uh, sorry, five. So that's eight, seven, five. Back to seven on the G, five on the B, seven pull off to five on the G, 
7 pull off to 5 on the D, 7 pull off to 5 on the A, and that's a 5. Slide back to the 3rd, and then you're going to put a you're going to put a bend on it, okay? So let me try and do that super slow. So on to part 11 and we're into the last section of the song and it's 15 bend to 17 on the B and it's this long bend again if you can't do the bend just 15 slide to 17 and if you wanted to count it so you know when to come back in 1 2 3 4 5 6 2 2 3 4 5 6 Okay, and it comes back in there, but just feel it through and it'll, it'll feel more natural that way. So the big bend, 15 to 17, back to 15, 13, 12, 10, 12 on the G string, 10 on the G string. So then on to part 12, and we just got this hammer on 12 to 13 on the toppy. Then it's a uh, 10 really, and then a hammer on to 12 at the end. So it's the kind of, the, the hammer on comes a bit later on if you listen to the original track. Okay, on to part 13. Then we got this big bend again, 13, it's bend to 15 on the B. Back to 15, 10 slide to 12. 8, then 7 on the G, slide to 9, back to 7, back to 9 again, so it sounds like that. Let's do the whole thing, okay? So bend, 13, okay. So part 14, we've got 10 to 8, and then we've got 10 on the B slide to 13. 12, 8 slide to 10, back to 8. Then we've got this 10, 9 hammer on 10, 9. Well, pull off back to 9. So it's 10, 9, hammer on to 10, pull off, back to 9, and 12 on the D string. Let's do just do that section, so... Okay, 12, bend to 13, and then back to 12 again, so it's... Okay, it's just, just a semitone bend. And then 9, 10 on the B. And then you've got this kind of little lick at the end. So that's just 8, 10 on the B, then 7 on the top E, 8 on the B, 9 on the G. Sorry. And the second time it's the same. Except when you hit that 9 at the end, you slide it to 12, then back to 9 again. So the first one, section 15, then section 16. Okay, you see me putting a bit of vibrato on the end, that just helps it ring out. And then finally you can just hit the end. So that's just um, a 9 on the G, 10 on the B. 8 on the top E, and then 10 bend to 12. Again, that's a hard bend. 
So you can do 10 slide to 12. And that's going to sound fine. So hopefully with the tabs on the screen, that's helped you guys out. Don't forget, you can download it below and follow along. So there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget, give me the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Check out the links below, and I'll see you again the same time next week. Enjoy. Thank you.